Well, hi everyone. My name's Mark Wilson and I'm an author illustrator as you can see in that little picky of me. Um, I'm going to explain to you how I do a cover very quickly. Um, it takes me a week so I can't really do that and I'm not smart with these cameras or anything so I'm just going to do it how I can do it and show you the process of doing a cover for my latest picture book. Okay, And it's a story about a wonderful Australian hero called Rachel Pratt. She was a nurse in the First World War. She won a medal for bravery. Wonderful, wonderful um, uh, Australian legend to me anyway. And I'm trying to bring her story to everybody else. She um, worked in the trenches in the First World War looking after Australian soldiers and the enemy planes were bombing the hospital tent where she worked and a bomb went off behind her and she had, uh, she was severely wounded. She had shrapnel from the bomb in her lung and uh, she was bleeding and everything, but she kept working on her patients. It was such a brave thing to do. And she kept working and working until she finally collapsed, but she thought more of her patients than her own life. So I thought I would tell Rachel Pratt's story. And here is the cover. This is the first sketch. And this is what I do. I just do lots and lots of different sketches from different angles. Just made up drawings. You can see how rough it is. Um, the idea is to just get an angle uh, for what I want to do. And then uh, I work out. I've got a model. And my model for this book happened to be Claire, my niece. She's an actress and she's a very good one too. Okay, and that's her brother. He's uh, he played that's uh, Lucas, and he played the part of the soldier for me. And uh, uh, my sister-in-law Bron took photos of them, and I think they photographed each other doing uh, the poses that I needed for my cover. So I took lots. There's probably about or oh, close to a hundred photographs, and I choose different angles and look at different things. The thing you're looking for is lots of light coming from a certain angle to create drama. And so you get, get very outdoor looking flesh tones, okay? And then I use, I do a drawing from that. And here is the drawing. Actually, I'll get rid of those two. Here is the drawing for the cover. And it's quite a detailed drawing from photographs, from different angles. You can tell it's not exactly the same angle. It's not exactly the same look. But I sort of make bits and pieces up as I go. And uh, when I've got what I think looks good, I, then I add backgrounds. And, of course, Rachel's serving in Egypt at this stage. And so I've got the pyramid and the sphinx in the background. Uh, that was actually, the sphinx and the pyramid were actually my publisher, Suzanne's idea. She's very publisher. My publisher is Hachette. And Suzanne is my uh, publisher, my editor. And uh, she sent me an email, I said, oh, Mark, why don't you do the Sphinx or something in the background? I thought, oh, what a great idea. So you're always taking ideas on board from people. And editors are very good at looking at things and saying, oh, yeah, that looks good, but you, know, you could do this, do that. Okay. So then I paint it. And I did one painting from this. And I sent it off. I thought it was fantastic. But my publisher, she looked at it and she said, oh, Mark, what about could you change the expression a little bit? I said, yeah, well, I ummed and ahed and grumbled, like we all do. And I thought, no, she's right, I'll change it. And so this is what I came up with. So here is the artwork. I'll pan back so you can see the whole thing. And there is the artwork. I'm nearly finished. And that's done in acrylic paint. And I'll go up nice and close so you can see all the pencil work. Okay. I hope that's nice and clear. It's probably a bit dark, actually. I don't know. But uh, you can see all the pencil work, if I go really close like that, in the face. Okay. Yeah, see see the lines on, on her scarf and on her face. I hope. And anyway, I'll pan back in case that's gone a bit dark. Okay. And I'll show you the pencils I use. And these are Albert Dura Faber-Cassell pencils. And these are my three flesh tones, okay? 
And you can any packet of um, good Faber Castell pencils, uh, you'll find these flesh tones in them. So I use three different. There's a light, a medium, and a dark. Uh, flesh tone and then there's a light, a medium and a brown and I use all those uh, pencils I use all those colours, all those flesh tones in each picture and I'll show you the main one I use this is the light pink this is the very light, the first one in the set it's the lightest of the, the whole set and I use that and I'll show you I'll actually draw on this picture to show you that is that flesh tone you can see that in fact, you can see it against the pencil, okay? All those little highlights through there on her nose and cheeks and down here and on his nose too, and on the hands too, that is the pencil. I'll give you a little clue so you can cheat and show everybody how clever you are when you're doing a portrait. It's number 132, <laughs> okay? faber Castell, C-A-S-T-E-L-L. -L. All right, I'm giving away my secrets because I don't need to keep them anymore. <laughs> so I'm spreading the word. Okay, and uh, the next one, that which is your mid-tone, and you'll use this a lot, is the same. It's a Faber-Castell 330, 330, okay? And you can see that's for the dark bits. And you can see I use browns. All these shadows on the on the cheeks, all those dark bits down there and on the neck, I'll show you, look. I'll sketch some of it in. See, like that. Same tone. And that is a Faber Castell again. And I don't know the number, I think. I think it's 179, but I've, I've painted over it at some stage. I think it's 179, but that's the colour. Okay, so if you're looking at this video again and want to know that colour, that's what it is. It's sort of a mid, it's a mid brown anyway, mid to dark. Okay, and you want it to be that chocolatey brown. They've got some sort of reddy browns and some more ochre looking ones, but you want that sort of chocolate brown. So if I if I can find out that I'm pretty sure it's one seven nine anyway. So there you go. That's how I work. And then eventually I'll do the background of that, and you'll see what that's like one of these days. Uh, and it'll have the pyramid. It'll all be sandy, nice and yellow and bright. And I'll probably have a storm cloud, uh, a sandstorm or something in the background. So it'll be yellows and blues and all sorts of stuff over here. And uh, there'll be the pyramids in the background, maybe some other soldiers over in the background here, uh, etc. And there is my cover. Okay. I'm Mark Wilson and I'll bring you something else to have a look at very, very soon. Okay, cheers.